Hey, what's up? It's William Beckett. You're watching Eric Live on the Air. Yeah, you want to introduce yourself? Sure. I'm William Beckett, formerly of the Academy Is, and uh, currently of the band William Beckett. So, how does being on Warped by yourself and going on touring by yourself compare to, to having, you know, four other guys, three other guys with you that, you know, when you go on stage, it's not just you? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm really, really comfortable with either, you know, performance. They're different, for sure. Um, when I first began, you know, playing songs in front of people, it was just me and, you know, it was like me, an acoustic guitar, and like a bar stool. And that was how I started when I was like 17, 18 years old. So, performing in front of people on my own, uh, like, by myself on a stage is nothing new to me. And in, in mo many, many, you know, in many ways, I prefer it to... You know, being, you know, in a full band where uh, it's just a little different, you know, like it's more of like a energy running back and forth, like pumping the crowd up when it's full band. But when it's just me, it's very conversational. It's I can like tell stories. I can like make jokes and it's just like really comfortable. I can be myself. Yeah, I mean, I think it's more so here on Warp Tour because I feel like like, you know, the people found out that we broke up. Um, but they, you know, and I've done touring for the past year on my own, uh, and it's been amazing, you know. And there, I'm seeing a lot of the fans that, um, you know, really, really love the Academy as, but also love what I'm doing now. I've seen brand new fans um, that saw me on tour with Reliant K, or like just heard, you know, you know, or like any of the. the, the the various other tours I've done, I've done Reliant K, I've done like Never Shout Never since then, I've done Rocket Summer, you know, so like, and I've done uh, some headlining as well. So I've, I've also encountered fans who weren't really into Academy as, but really love what I'm doing now. And then there are fans who like had no idea what, what the hell was going on then, and it's brand new to them because they're, they're young. Yeah. So uh, I've seen a bunch, you know, it's a lot of crossover, Warp Tour, there's a lot more people who hadn't had a chance to to see me yet, you know, um, you know, s since I've been solo, so it's been a really, really awesome environment, and like, the my crowds have been unbelievable, and I'm just like really, really, you know, I feel you know just really blessed that I'm able to make my music that I want to make, and uh, and and people are caring about it. Well, so I mean, being on this tour uh, again, I know uh, you. How many were you on when when we came to the academy? Yet? up to the like how many being tours? on warp tour i'm saying not oh. not i can't even count that i'm sure you can no but three warp tours with academy so this is my first one as a solo guy obviously how do the two of them you know differ i mean it, obviously it's a smaller stage yeah. more intimate and it's supposed to be because you know it's just you a guitar and a mic um and a band in a box because i have my computer as well well band in a box all right yeah band in a box band in a box uh, it, obviously, it's it's different because uh, you know Academy started on a small stage, our first year. Second year, we were on the Hurley stage, which is like now what like Domo and all those stages are. And then we uh, were one of the headliners. So I've been on every stage possible, pretty much on Warp Tour. So I feel like um, right now is a really great opportunity to like like introduce what I'm doing now, pay homage to what I did in the past while really focusing on all my new stuff because I have a new album coming out uh, in, in August with like label support so I'm just like really really stoked on it and um, yeah I mean next year maybe I'll be on a bigger stage with a band well I mean I would assume that you're trying to stick with being solo being you know William Beckett and that's what you are um, has the opportunity arisen where you you turn it down or whatever it is to be in another band, or have you just you, you just transitioned? So no, th there wasn't time. Like no, like I transitioned really, really quickly. You know, I had this planned so I could m put music out as soon as possible because I've been writing so much great music, and I just want it to be out. You know, I just want people to hear it because I feel like it's really important for people to hear it. It's important for me as an artist as well to like, put my music out. And when you're with a major label, like our situation was really shitty. Uh, we were in a situation where it was just like okay. Well, there's no single, so go back and write more, go back and write more, go back and write more. Until you accumulate so much material that you feel passionate about, and then at a certain point, 
you abandon what you're passionate about and you're just trying to write a song that they think is a single and there's no way in hell I'm doing that again that's I mean like I've written songs that are big I've written big songs I've written songs that are like you know like on a Demi Lovato record I have like a song on, a, on her record I've got Jim Class Heroes songs I have songs that are successful but I've never stooped to the level of writing something just to sell it yeah. as a you know because it's just it's it, you know it becomes bullshit at, at that point so I'm just stoked that I'm able to release music that I'm pat that's real that's from the heart and that's still accessible yeah, Demi Lovato is a song called For the Love of a Daughter I wrote with her um, and it's a really really hard hitting intimate personal song for her and it's on her album Unbroken um, I wrote the chorus for seven weeks which is a gym class hero song um, uh, homecoming which is a hey Monday song I mean it's I, I'm not like trying to like like drop my fucking yeah. shit here I'm just like you asked I was curious yeah, I, yeah. It's, not, it's not like yeah. the name drop and yeah you know Demi Lovato hey Monday yeah, yeah, no whatever, biggie whatever. But, yeah it's not like that yeah no, I just write songs with my friends you know we have fun we write songs and it, they usually come out pretty damn good uh, I mean, what do you, would you say is the song that you're most proud of? And it could be a song that Demi Lovato sang. It could be a song that you sang when you were with The Academy Is. Um, well, there's a song on my new album that's coming out in August called By Your Side that I think is my best song I've ever written. And um, but the, in my opinion, and like my team and everyone is like rallying so hard around it because I feel like it's the best collection of songs I've done ever, ever. Like, including the band, including you know collaborations so I'm just uh, I'm just really amped for August the 20th to finally get here you know well uh, what's the name of that album that's going to be coming it's out it's called Genuine and Counterfeit and it's coming out on Equal Vision Records awesome uh, how many tracks are going to be on that there's 11 tracks and there's two B-sides and that's cut down from 40 songs that I wrote for the album so it's like the best of the best can't you know well, that's definitely the goal for every album. Absolutely, for sure. It's like so, a, it's like a, f a couple weeks after Warped, and then um, I'm I'm going out on tour um, with uh, Amberlin and the Main to Australia. So I'll be in Australia with them, and then right now we're we're uh, working out the details for our fall tour, uh, which I can't really talk about yet. But it's going to be in the states, and uh, I'm really really excited about that as well. So nice. I, I assume you're gonna try and come back in this area. Hell yeah, always. Jersey's like it's like my second home, you know. It's like I think my third show I ever played ever when I mean, it was on my own solo with an acoustic guitar. I played in Jersey, so it's from the very beginning. It's it's been a very important, you know, you know, part of the country for me. So. Yeah. Well, how has it changed from that first? Thir well, from that third show you and acoustic guitar to now back to you and acoustic guitar I mean is it, well, is it I, can, I can sing now I couldn't sing very well then I can play guitar a lot better than I could play then I mean I've just uh, grown as a writer grown as a, a, a human being and uh, it's just great to see you know some a lot of familiar faces and a lot of new faces every time I come through there's like new fans um, new people to meet and talk to so you know a lot has stayed the same but a lot has changed at the same time well, yeah, I mean, especially coming off of an album that we wrote, like, I wrote predominantly about my experiences in high school, when at that point a lot of, a lot of stuff was happening, a lot of stuff was happening personally. I went, I looked over for a second and I didn't realize you were going to look. All right. Back. Oh. <laughs> So, uh, as we were saying, we were, you wrote that song. So there are a lot of babes on Warp Tour. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah. So um, yeah, we wrote a record about a time that we weren't really living in anymore, which I think is awesome and really, like, really, really cool and nostalgic. But I have a lot more to say about what's happening in my life now. So uh, that's that. That was one of the big reasons why I wanted to branch out and like do my own thing. So well. I mean, are you still writing even now? Like, I know a lot of artists say they just, they never stop writing. They are consistently, when they hear something in their head, they just put it pen and paper. Are, are you still I'm always, that? yeah, I'm always writing. I'm, I'm always writing ideas. I'm writing f 
songs with friends on the on my bus like for them for fun for whatever you know so I mean it's it's part of what I do it's part of how I'm wired I need to have that you know I need to be creating something otherwise you know it'll otherwise I'll probably just you know idle hands of the devil's workplace you know yeah I mean probably going to to Southeast Asia for the first time last year as a solo artist I mean it was the first time I've ever been there period the band never went so going there not having no idea what to expect having it be like a pretty brand new project at that point um, I went and I played in the Philippines um, Thailand Singapore Malaysia and um, Japan as well but the response and just the the overall like like knowledge that they have of like all my new stuff as well was just overwhelming I mean it was it was beautiful man I mean to go to a country who doesn't speak English as their first language yeah. or even their second language or their third language and like have your music and your lyric and your message translate into a different culture that's completely different and when you're in Southeast Asia as well you'll notice from like even when you're jumping like you know to these these countries that are really close to each other I mean they're, they're like half an hour you know plane rides but the cultures are so incredibly different and the religions are different uh, you know everything's different yeah. the governments are different so it's just really really amazing to, to see that in such like a, a contrasting like right in front of your face way yeah. it, was, it was just like I know that music translates and uh, and transcends culture and language but and class and everything but to, I, that's that's the first time I saw it so blatantly and uh, I think it's a, a beautiful thing all right so first question is would you rather be fluent in every language or master every musical instrument master every musical instrument feel hot or cold hot I hate being cold drink monster or Red Bull I mean I'm on Warp Tour, so I'm going to go with Monster. But, but I'm not a big energy drink fan. Well, I saw you were drinking tea, so... Yeah. That's more of what you drink, I guess? Yeah, I drink tea, and I drink whiskey, I drink, I drink whiskey, and I drink tea. <laughs> Solid two choices. Yeah. Uh, eat something chocolate or vanilla flavored? Chocolate, always. Playing on the East Coast or the West Coast? I gotta go with the East Coast. Yeah? Yeah. Alright. Be in a relationship or have a friend with benefits? Relationship. Relationship. Okay. Uh, drink beer or liquor? I think I know that. Liquor, yeah. Be able to fly or read people's minds? Oh, wow. I would rather read people's minds. Okay. Uh, date someone with big boobs or a nice ass? You didn't see, I mean, it's a nice boob. tits or a nice ass. I'm kind of a breast man myself, so I'm going to go with breast. Uh, where... C- by the way, you like what I have for if I'm asking a girl? Have, which is a have. Yeah. yeah it's it's very awkward to ask. I mean, would you rather wear Vans or Converse? Uh, Converse. Sorry, Vans. Sure. And, uh... I wear, like, dress shoes, you know, so it's like... Yeah, you, you seem or, like, to boots wear, and dress shoes, so... That's usually what you're wearing. Yeah. You're, you, I mean, you're, 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 like, you got the, the style, so... Thank you. Um, I always use, you usually wear scarves a lot, like... Yeah. I mean, well, no, I know. You still got that one. But you used to, like, it was, like, the main thing that you saw in your, your wardrobe, I remember. You used, yeah. You were, are you are not it so much, or? Well, I mean, it's too hot. It's too hot for a damn scarf on this tour. Well, not for, like, there, but you have it there. All right. Yeah, are you always me, and I, I'm wearing a bandana on my neck, you know. Do you always have something along those lines on? Yeah, oh, yeah. I always wear my knee scarf, and on this tour, I've been wearing this, because it's just it's too, it's too damn hot for a penguin to just be walking around. Um, and then the last one is travel back in time or go to the future. Future, future, future. What future? What future? I didn't know exactly why future. No, what future? I don't know what other future there are out there. Which future are you talking about? Um, yeah, future. Uh, because what what, what history is history? You know, I'm more curious as to what what's to come. All right. Well, wouldn't you rather be surprised? No, I I, I want to be prepared. <laughs> Not surprised. Prepared. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time, man. Yeah, I appreciate man, thanks it. Thanks so much, dude. That was fun. Yeah.